Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today, I'm gonna use this orange, and I'm gonna garnish this, the Cheer Hatton. But is it really cheerful? Let's find out. Okay, today's cocktail comes to me from one of our subscribers, which is awesome because today's subscriber cocktail recipe day. And this comes to us from Cocktail Numi. One of the good things about this is he has his own YouTube channel and it's called Cocktail Drinky Canava. His first language is Finnish and that's pretty awesome because I get to watch his videos, watch what he's doing. I have to translate his actual descriptions and really get a feel for what he's doing and watch his actual uh, facial uh, muscles and what he actually thinks about it comes right through. And the word for good in Finnish is huva. Now, he created this recipe for a cocktail competition and he made it all the way into the second phase. And he's really, really proud of this. So I wanna do him justice. So you know what? Let's get into this. The first thing we need is a mixing glass. Also, we need a bourbon, a good quality bourbon. I've got Buffalo Trace here. This is a 45% uh, alcohol by volume. And we need 35 milliliters. Basically one ounce and a bar spoon, which is just shy of an ounce and a quarter. The next thing we need is a cherry liqueur, but you don't want any cherry liqueur. You don't want anything that's just candy-like and overly sweet. You want a good one. And he recommended Heary Cherry which is a cherry liqueur, it's been around for 200 years. They've used the same recipe from 1818, which is, you know, pretty cool, right? So we need three quarters of an ounce, actually just shy of three quarters of an ounce because we need 20 milliliters. So 20 milliliters is two centiliters. And here we go. Look at that. And it smells so good. Not like the uh, Luxuoso cherry liqueur that I have, which is really good itself, but it is a bright candy red, and this isn't. The next thing we need is 15 milliliters or half an ounce of a sweet vermouth. And today I'm using Dylan sweet vermouth. It's a Canadian vermouth made out of the Niagara region. And this will have the scent of berries and it's a really, really good vermouth. Little known fact about vermouth, if you didn't know, you should always, after you've opened the bottle, refrigerator it. Because it is a wine base and you don't want it to go bad and become alkaline. Next we need a chocolate syrup. So I created my own chocolate syrup here and he suggested one that has hints of coffee. So I used one part sugar, one part water, and half a part of coffee and half a part of, uh, of chocolate. I cooked it all up and I strained it and then I handed it to my daughter and I said, this isn't hot. And of course she put her hands on it and it was hot and so she dropped some of it. Not really a big issue because I have enough to do with what we need. And we need one bar spoon of this. And I'll put the recipe for this down below for you. Next, we need one to two dashes of Angostura bitters, and we'll just go with two. The only thing I don't have is cocktail bitters. I sorry, sorry, not cocktail bitters, chocolate bitters. And that is optional anyways. So unfortunately I don't have it and it would take me too long to get it because I have to special order it. I cannot get it where I live. Actually, I probably can't get it it would be an hour and a half drive and I had to drive 45 minutes to do this. In fact, my wife went to get this for me today just so I could do this video. So we're gonna put some ice in here and we're gonna stir this for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now, a lot of people will stir actually using the spoon and there's a really good technique to doing that. But what you can actually do, especially if your stirring technique sucks like mine does, you can use the end of your uh, spoon if you have a uh, teardrop shape end. Okay. 
we're going to put this in a coupe glass. So I've got a nice little fancy coupe glass here and you can use whatever type of strainer you want. In this case, I'm using a julep strainer because I'm not worried about big bits coming through or anything like that. Look at that beautiful color. We're gonna garnish this with a twist. So, Cocktail Numi says we use a nice orange twist. So I'm gonna use my wide peeler here and I'll do this directly over top of the glass. And I'm going to give myself a nice long twist. And first I'm gonna give it a bit of a spritz so we can get some of those oils in there. I'll rub the oils around and down in the bottom. An interesting thing about doing it on the actual stem of the glass, whenever your friends try drinking this and they put their hands to their face afterward, they're gonna smell the orange and that's pretty awesome. So it gives you a lingering second dimension to this cocktail. We'll just make this look kind of neat and tidy. We'll give this a nice little twist like so. So this is gonna be a nice long twist. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. You can't go wrong with the color alone and the stitcher smells. Oops. I struggle with the pretty presentation, of course, as you know. And it smells good. You get the orange, you get a small hint of the uh, Buffalo Trace and a little bit of cherry coming at you. Ooh, this, ooh. Hey, this is good. Oh yeah, the... This stuff, the uh, Buffalo Trace goes really, really well, the bourbon. It's not super strong, it doesn't overpower you. You get hints of the cherry, which is really quite nice. There's a depth there, a bit of a nuttiness to that. Oh, you get a little bit of spice from that. And the berry vermouth is very, very, very good. Oh, and the orange, of course. Mm. And you know what, the Angostura bitters, they don't make it overly bitter. This is good. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. That's a good cocktail. Oh, I like that. You know what cocktail knew me? Give this to everybody. This is awesome. Uh, I really like it. I think you should have placed a little bit higher. I really do. Yeah, it's well worth it in my opinion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below for all of you. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you will be notified every time I put up a new video. And you know what? Go down and give him a big thumbs up on his videos and we'll see you next time. Welcome back from Booze Out. From Booze Out Rocks. <laughs> but what make the what makes this recipe? <laughs> he's really, really proud of this, and that's one of the reasons why I want to do this today because he's got he's got he's put so much effort into.